If you are lucky enough to have lived in Paris as a young man, then wherever you go for the rest of your life, it stays with you. For Paris is a movable feast. Ernest Hemingway to a friend, 1950. To have come on all this new world of writing, with time to read in a city like Paris, where there was a way of living well and working no matter how poor you were, was like having a great treasure given to you. People that I liked and had not met went to the big cafes because they were lost in them and no one noticed them and they could be alone in them and be together. When spring came, even the false spring, there were no problems except where to be happiest. The only thing that could spoil a day was people, and if you could keep from making engagements, each day had no limits. People were always the limiters of happiness, except for the very few that were as good as spring itself. In those days, you did not really need anything, not even the rabbit's foot. 
but it was good to feel it in your pocket. There is never any ending to Paris, and the memory of each person who has lived in it differs from that of any other. We always returned to it, no matter who we were or how it was changed, or with what difficulties or ease it could be reached. Paris was always worth it, and you received return for whatever you brought to it. But this is how Paris was in the early days, when we were very poor and very